Piezo discs are great. You can pulse them with electricity to produce sound, or you can mount them directly on a surface to pick up sound as a basic contact microphone. With a little help from a simple circuit and a 9 volt battery, you can even use them to electrify an acoustic guitar. Which I just happen to have one of right here. And as you can plainly see, it's in dire need of amplification. So uh, let's make that happen, shall we? To build the contact mic and its preamplifier circuit, we'll need a 9 volt battery and battery clip, a quarter inch jack for connecting to an amplifier, a small piece of perf board, an MPF102 transistor, 10 UF and 4.7 UF capacitor, a 3.3 meg ohm. 1.5k ohm, 220k ohm, and 560 ohm resistor, some single channel audio cable, an old RCA cable will work fine for this, and of course we'll also need a piezo disc. The schematic for the preamplifier circuit is pretty straightforward. Probably the only really tricky part is making sure we connect the transistor correctly. A quick look at the MPF102's datasheet helps us figure out which pin is which. Once the circuit's done, we just need to wire up the piezo disc. A bare piezo is a fairly fragile thing, so it's a good idea to add some protection to prevent damage. To do this, I add a thick layer of epoxy to the top of the disc and tuck in any wire leads to prevent them from breaking off at the solder joints. I could attach a female RCA jack to the piezo to keep everything modular, but for the sake of simplicity, I'll just clip off the connectors and solder the wires directly together. A few pieces of heat shrink tubing will keep the connections isolated from one another. solder the audio cable to the circuit board, and commence testing. All right, so I've got my nine volt hooked up and uh, no enclosure for this thing yet. So I'm just gonna tape it in place on the table. Now all I have to do is affix this to my guitar and uh, plug it into an amp. 
I found a just a spot of double-sided tape works really well for this. But you could also use poster tack, fun tack, or uh, gaffer's tape. Also just stick this cord in place so it doesn't wander around and strain the wires. And since we're going electric, we don't have to keep it clean. Of course, you don't need to have an acoustic guitar to have fun with a contact mic. You can find a lot of interesting sounds just by attaching a contact mic to everyday household items. A couple of interesting items I tried. Drawer from my parts bin. How's about some uh, wire mesh screen? Maybe a comb. My head. Huh. Unfortunately, no, you cannot hear my thoughts, but uh, we'll have to leave that for another video. And speaking of other videos, here's two I highly recommend.